part five. 2019 into up until right now. You know what I mean? It can't be, it's never gonna end. God willing. Let's get it. As 2019 turned into 2020, there was a lot of good energy around It's The Real. After appearances by Jack Harlow and Cameron and Lizzo, not to mention their third annual 12 Days of Podcast, publishing a dozen shows in the dozen days leading up to Christmas. Eric and Jeff look forward as a waste of time crossed 300 episodes. Two Jews and two black dudes, an organic melding of two sets of best friends who grew up under opposite circumstances just 10 minutes from each other, had blossomed thanks to the most unexpected and side-splittingly funny stories shared on air. The podcast was on a great streak, producing weekly episodes based around films like Groundhog Day, Parasite, and Knives Out. But just a couple months into the new year, after boarding their plane back from a work trip to Miami, Eric and Jeff's attention went from the monitor showing overseas COVID reports on CNN to passengers in hazmat outfits, lights all in their seats, and thought, it's time to switch things up. <laughs> it's the real weekly podcast, their bread and butter were the ant. Antithesis. Antithesis. <laughs> antithesis. How you say it? Antithesis. Anti antithesis. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's the real weekly podcast. Their bread and butter were the opposite of COVID protocol. They can no longer invite people to their living room for hour and a half open air conversations. They immediately pivoted, and the next day launched Quarantine Radio, the original Quarantine Radio daily audio and visual podcast where Eric and Jeff would get three friends on the phone, each for a 20-minute check-in for 90 straight days. These conversations provided some sanity and humor for those on both sides of the phone and for everyone locked indoors and tuned in. But it was completely exhausting and Eric and Jeff decided to take one week off. Their goal, to take a breath and figure out what they really wanted to do. And just importantly, what they didn't want to do. Amongst the ideas that came to them, Eric and Jeff quietly started work on a project they expected to take two months, which grew to six months, then grew to a year, and finally two years. It's a project that combines all of the talent, history, and credibility that the guys have built up since August of 2007. And the guys are excited to make some announcements soon. So as we start the next 15, here's the more originality, more authenticity, and of course, more laughs. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shout out to my brothers, man, on a solid 15, and let's go for another 15. <laughs> You're the best.